Hello friends, let's have a look at another simple problem today which is toggle bit problem. Before moving to advanced bit manipulation problem, the, prob uh, the proper understanding of core concepts of bit manipulation is essential. Current problem will help us doing the same. So let's look at the problem statement. So given a number n, we have to toggle all the bits to the right of the most significant bit MSB including MSB also in the binary representation of the number. So input will be an integer n and solution uh, solution will be an integer having n all bit inverted after the MSB. So let's have a look at one example. So let's take n as 50. So binary representation of 50 is 110010. So toggle all bits from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0. So we get 001101 and convert it back to decimal representation the number would be uh, 13 which is our solution so this is what we want to do this is a simple problem let's try to understand the algorithm for this so uh, algorithm is the idea is to start with 0 as a solution and move bit by bit from LSP to MSP in n replacing ith 0 bit in the solution with 1 whenever ith bit in n is 0 if ith bit in n is 1 we do not have to do anything as default value is uh, solution uh, which is 0 in which all its bits are 0 ok so let's take one example example input is 50 so the number is 110010 LSB is 0 MSB is 1 and let's initialize the solution as all bits at 0 at every step we discard the LSB by taking an unsigned uh, right shift on N so that at next step we can check if ith bit is 0 or 1 by taking N and 1. So uh, the way to get each bit 1 by 1 is by doing right shift and doing N and 1 which will give us the value of LSB. I hope we all understand output of operation N and 1 which gives always LSB or least significant bit of N. Uh, now uh, we have one, we'll take one variable next set bit. Uh, this variable will be having ith bit set so that when we take bitwise or of next set bit with the solution, we get the ith bit set in the solution. So basically, whenever we want to set the ith bit, uh, we will be making use of next set bit there. We'll be doing an or of next set bit with our solution. So let's start. Uh, so current bit is uh, zero. So first we'll check whether it is 0. Yes, it is 0. And how did we check that? We checked it using doing n and 1. Okay, so this is 0. So uh, we'll take bitwise or of solution and next set bit. We can clearly see that uh, next set bit is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And if we'll do it, uh, do a or of this with all zeros, we'll get 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. So uh, once we are done, we'll left shift next set bit to move one bit to left. So next set bit becomes 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Okay, uh, now we'll discard the least significant bit and the bits that we are left with is 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. So basically what we are doing here is we are taking the next uh, bit of the input number. So the next uh, number is 1. Is this 0? No, this is not 0. So we'll keep 0 at as it is. Left shift next set bit. It becomes 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. We'll take the next number which is 0. Yes, it is 0. We'll set uh, uh, the, the current bit in the solution by doing a bitwise OR operation on the solution uh, and the next set bit. And we'll again uh, left shift the next set bit. We'll come to the next bit it is again 0, we will do the same operation, we will go to the next bit which is 1, 1 is 0, no this is not 0. So what we will do, we will just keep 0 as it is, basically we will not do any operation here. We come to the MSB bit, is this 0, this is not 0, so keep 0 as it is. So all the bits in our input number has been exhausted. So we are done.
we reached uh, to our final solution which is 001101 and which is 13. So we'll quickly have a code walkthrough for this problem. So we initialize solution as 0 and next set bit to 1 and while the current number is not 0 what we'll do we'll first find out whether the current uh, bit is 0 or not. So that how we can do that uh, we can do that using last bit equal to uh, num and 1. If last bit equal to 0 what we'll be doing we had seen previously that we'll be doing a solution or uh, next set bit and then what we'll be doing we'll be doing a left shift of next set bit and we'll be doing a right shift of uh, the current number and finally when this is done we'll return the solution interesting thing here is that we are doing unsigned right shift denoted by three arrows to the right here so normal right shift operator fills the higher order bit with previous bit due to which the sign is preserved when we do a right shift on negative number the higher order bit is replaced with one by using unsigned right shift higher order bit will be replaced with zero so after all the ones in the number are discarded by right shift operation the number will become zero this will be the terminating condition so this ensures the algorithm this algorithm works for negative numbers also i hope the algorithm is pretty much clear please let us know your thoughts on problem and solution thanks